Hi, Deborah. Um, why don't you introduce yourself um, to our viewers? Okay. Hello, viewers. I'm Osei Tito Deborah, and I graduated this year from Nkoma University of Science and Technology, Bachelor of Science and Physics. And by God's grace, I happen to be the best graduating student in the Department of Physics. What was your um, average? Can you tell us that? Yeah, I had a cumulative weighted average of 80.06. That's really nice. Yes, yes. Um, Why did you choose to study physics at the university? Most people run away from physics. <laughs> yeah, so it's one of the interesting questions a lot of people ask me. I have first year, second year, third year calling me, Sister Debbie, why did you choose physics? They want to know. And then I always tell them I chose physics because of my key interest in physics back in SHS. I just love the subject and math too. So I was ready to take it into, a, to, into the next level, into a higher level. I really love physics and I love to teach as well. So then back in SHS, my decision was to teach physics. That was it. But I, I'm told your parents did not really support the idea and a lot of people are against it. How yes. did that work out? Yes, please. I, I, I had issues with my dad on that. So because I love physics, I wanted to, to choose and um, to teach physics too. At Awasi, I was looking for UCC forms. I wanted to do education in physics. So I was looking for UCC forms. I didn't get it. So I decided, okay, let me just choose chemistry to make daddy happy. And um, choosing physics, I chose physics as my second choice and medicine as my first choice just to please that. But later on when I had admission in uh, medicine, I came for the interview, I answered every question, they asked me why I chose physics as my second choice and I told them I'm ready for physics and never ready for medicine and that's how I'm doing physics here. Oh, that's interesting. So how challenging has that been with, um, with the four years and with people initially not Okay. supporting you? Yeah, it's been very challenging in the initial stage. As I said, um, Daddy was not in agreement with it because he wants to call his daughter Dr. Debbie mm -hmm. and everything. And my friends too were not in support. My teachers, I remember my JHS teacher called me that I've made the biggest mistake ever in my life. My SHS teachers used to tell me that Debbie, that's a wrong decision. And so I was kind of discouraged. There were some times I was confused and I wanted to go back to do medicine. But then later on, I got encouragement and I, I decided to stay focused and do what I love. And so I'm doing what I, I love. Mm, yes. um, what have been some of the notable milestones along um, the journey? Um, I always thank God I came to Kenya and not to UCC as I wanted to. I've learned a lot in Kenya and I've done so much in Kenya that has shaped my life personally. Um, I remember I was a class rep. So I had a lot of responsibilities as a class rep, also a church leader in Gafes, IHCF, and Gafes is very demanding, both for evangelism, prayer meeting, visitation, check up on people and everything. Also, I had businesses to run, so I had my own business. Markel, I used to prepare sobolo bread and sausage and everything to sell. Mm -hmm. I braid as well, so I had other things doing. And then aside that, I also love tutoring people, teaching people. So first year, we used to have tutorials for first year, second year, third year, and my mate. And interestingly, I remember once I stood on a chair to teach them because I couldn't reach the board. I, I felt fulfillment in all these. And these have been some of the notable muscles along the journey. You know, it has been good. So with all that, how did you still manage to top your whole class? And probably have the highest average ever in physics? Yeah, I see it's God's grace. The battle is never for the strong, neither is the race for the swift, um, no knowledge for the wise, but then time and chance happen to them or I would say God's grace because you know he has been the one to give me the strength to balance it all and to move forward. Mm. What are your plans for, for the future now that you've graduated? Yeah, still with a passion intact. I want to teach. So I'm taking it to the next level. I want to be a lecturer in physics and help a lot of people love physics. I want to be a lecturer that will not just impact knowledge, but also 
students will look up to me for total transformation, especially in fulfilling their purpose as well. And so I also want to move into research because in physics that's what we do to advance the understanding of the world around us so people can appreciate the world around us. All right, great, Debbie, thank you. You're welcome, sir.